There you go, here we go. Alright, so we're not going to go too short on the sides, right? We're going to keep the sides a little bit short, but not too short. Not too short, yeah. yeah. And the top is going to go long, kind of pushed slightly over, but kind of like this, right? Yeah. Kind of classical, you know, I really don't want to But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to section the top off. And then, uh, We can do this haircut with the scissors, or we can do it with a razor. Either or. So let's, let's do it with the scissors, and then soften it with a razor. You know? And make it simple. You want to keep nice clear sheet. So I like to section the hair right from the receiving hairline right here, you see that? Yep. So let's just do this, pull this down, keep this up. And we're gonna cut this part first. Let's do the same thing here. Right receiving hairline right here, you see that? And when we cut it, we're gonna cut it straight. So this is gonna be definitely staying longer okay. than here, you see? And that's it for our section. I'm not gonna go in all the section in here. Yeah. It's just, I could just do that by going straight up and keep leaving all this longer. See, si, senor? Makes sense. And we'll do it the uh, everyday style so we save on time. Basically, I'll just grab here, here, right there. This will be good, right, bud? Yeah. And I'm going straight up, see yeah? So this is staying longer than this here. Okay. It's kind of, it's gradual. So I'm gonna calm this down. Pick right now, pick up right next to my section. I should see my guy right there. Straight up. Again. And again. My guide and again And this I'm gonna leave for right now. I can cut that after with a scissor over comb, razor over comb, clipper over comb, or clipper with a guard. Um, but to cut it going this way, it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, so we'll just leave it for now. You see how I'm following a straight line up? Yeah. So this is staying longer. Scissors I'm using are six and a half inch. These are MC Barber scissors. Uh, they are made from Japanese steel, molybdenum alloy. Uh, I really love these scissors. Man. I've been using them since uh, August of last year. 
So now we are in to, after tomorrow's March 1st. And they still really don't need a sharpening, as you can see. They go pretty good. You see the clean line? They don't push here. Yeah. And I use them on the mannequins and on the dirty here. And so honestly, they hold the blade very good. From this point on, I could switch my hand and cut from here, but... I was going to ask you, I see... So I'm just going to keep this Brian for people that use only uh, one hand. And do the same thing, see? What does Brian do? What you just said, when he gets right there, he comes that way. This way? Um, or from here to come that the other way, you have to use your left hand to cut. You cannot cut with your right hand. So when you're cutting this side, you should be in front of the client. When you're cutting with this side, you should be behind the client. Behind the client, right? If you are using this right hand. If you are using left hand, you should be the other way around. Yep. Uh, if you are yeah. using right and left, you can stay behind the I can just switch my hand here and cut with oh, my Oh, yeah, left. right. Like, have my scissors in my left. That's what he does right there. Right hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Si, senor. And now I'm going to cut it off. Straight up. This is good right here. Yeah. There's my guy. So because his hair is longer right here, is that why you start at the crown or can you start there? What's the is there I a better, to, better way? I want to leave the front longer. Longer, okay. So and this is easier for me to uh, follow my guide. Not easy, it's kind of almost impossible to the follow the guide from the front. Okay. It is possible, but it's not very technical, I'll put it that way. So this is, if you really want to be technical and you want to follow your guide, you do it from here. And okay. also it's easier to over direct, right? If you yeah. Wanna, if I want to leave the phone longer, Here. Problem is here. <laughs> All right, so what I did. So I cut the hair this way and this way. So now I have to connect my style. Basically, I gotta cut it here and here. So let's see. Right here. And we are right here. Now this part. Okay, can you grab that piece? Thank you, man. We'll just switch our we're gonna switch our hand here and just do the same thing from this side. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, by switching my hand and cutting with my left hand, I can stay here. I don't have to stay behind. 
So now we. Oh, excuse me. We have cut the top, the sides, the back. Let's see, what do you think, my friend? Is the top short enough? Um, yeah, I think so. Well, let's find out. <laughs> So let's see we are right here. I want to see how I'm doing here. Alright, so here we are. I really didn't cut this part down. You can, you can see that we probably stop somewhere right here. Yeah. Yep. All right. So we can start. We can start from there. All right. Next one. And you guys see that? Yeah. <laughs> So that's a lot easier than doing uh, over knuckle, over no fingers work here, you know? Yeah. But you still can. I'm just showing you what's, in my mind, easier way to do it. Like for the scissor over comb, you don't keep it flush to the scalp. Like, how do you know, like, like when you're going up? How? I don't know how to explain it. What I'm talking about. Well, don't try to ask me difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> like right here. So, how do you know? So, so basically, I, I know what you're trying to say. You're, are you trying to say what? Uh, how do I know how short to cut it here? Yeah, yeah, or how like to, right. Well, you see, I'm trying to do the back here proportional to the style, so I'm not trying to go very short. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay. So I'm trying to. Is that if that's no? Trying, yeah, yeah. That's what. That's I'm, what you're trying to. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm not gonna cut too short. I'm not gonna okay, place yeah. my cone close. So okay, that's why I was. Okay. I'm kind of trying. To kind of go from from here gradually, gradually okay. to short here, but not a taper. I don't want right. to do like a, a skin taper okay. or anything like that. This is more like a, a class, I would call the style he showed me mm -hmm. more like a, a a trendy style that's classic. Okay, you know, like one of those longer style is a little bit trendy, but it's always there. You know? it's yeah. Like, Yeah, that's it. Two for 
Greek doctors are only at men's warehouse. I sent you the description of the pharmacy. Any idea how much it will cost? I chose to do this haircut with scissors. I'm gonna use razor as well, but it could have been done with a clipper or a comb. Probably not with a guard still because it's kind of long for guards. Yeah. But definitely you could have done it with a clippers. So all these things that I do are not necessarily uh, scissor must. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's just uh, switch. Do some scissor work. Or right? throw some razor work. It'll give us a nice texture, nice smooth blend. Uh, <laughs> we need a long blade. This is a classic razor for a really uh, men's hair cutting with a straight edge razor. It was perfected by Ruffler in the 70s and 80s. I was fortunate to learn from one of their masters. Uh, well, So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like sculpt now into the style, soften the style, you know. Okay. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna start from here because this hair will then pop up. Okay. So I'm gonna start kind of lower. And I'm gonna do razor over comb. See how I'm cutting over comb? Yep. Yeah. I can remove bulk right here. I can remove the length if I want to, or I can just lighten it, thin it. So it depends how I do it. But right now I'm just trying to give that like a soft finish. Yeah. And you can tell it's soft. Yeah, it looks. So, see, I'm, I'm cutting this way. Do you have an idea why? Why am I not just going this way or actually this way? Because he's going to be coming here this way. I'm going this way. Why are you going? Why am I going this way? Yeah. It's a secret, my friend. <laughs> So listen, I'm kind of combing it this way and shaving it this way, right? Yeah. See that? So now when I comb it this way, see how it falls? Yeah, it just almost fall. like creates the channel for the hair to fall in. Uh, you see that? Yeah, it just, yeah, it just flows, Be right? Because I, I take the hair from this, right? Yeah. It's like removing the hair so this hair comes and falls right over Falls right in place. Look at that. Or the writing place. So if I did it this way, it wouldn't be quite the same. You could now I can I I will find it up over here, but it's different if I only did it this way. Okay. It would have left a lot of hair underneath. Oh, I see. And yeah. So it was kind of like uh, woke up a little bit, and you know it could get frizzy. Yeah. So most of the hair that I cut is cut kind of almost from inside and when you push, yeah, when you push yeah. it, it falls like that. That makes sense. So everything that I do, I try to make sure that it has some type of a logical explanation. Mm -hmm. You know, not just something I think or I've seen somewhere. Yeah. Let's do the same thing over here. See how this is kind of heavy, so yep. we're, we're gonna kind of like wash. By the way, we are we just started uh, recording, setting up more yeah, right a recording studio for our 
uh, online academy, man. We, I was just certain things came about that kind of postponed all my work. But right now we're gonna try to shoot the videos and all these techniques, how to properly execute these techniques and uh, have them available for people around the world that like to learn the art of men's hairstyle in general because it has four different categories. You have a razor, scissors, clippers, and stand. I didn't know. If I want to make this soft, you see this? Can you see this? Yep. I can do that with a razor though. So I'll just right here. Yeah. I'll make a line, but it's going to be kind of like a soft one. So if you are creating like a soft look and you like the whole look to be soft, this is one way. There is nothing wrong if you use edges and finish like a, you know, with the sharp lines. Yeah. This is one way to do this, you see? Yep. And whoever tells you it's wrong, Tell him it's okay. Because <laughs> people have something to say about everything. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you can tell the intelligence of a person by his question. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you see his question and you can see his intelligence and his knowledge. You know? So we're going to just kind of create a texture here I'm not I don't want to go too deep in his hair especially not towards the front but I can as I go deeper inside inside of here I can get closer you know what I mean yeah right so each time you you get a new section you can move closer do you know what I mean by closer I mean closer on your section closer to the scalp like I started from here down there so mm -hmm. now I see I can get closer here sure, we'll probably my 520 is already here but it's no. okay this is actually a good this is a good video people can actually learn from this video a lot these are not common videos that you see every day yeah, they sure don't. on YouTube like even my videos I mean okay. the reason I kind of like stop doing as many videos it's just like there's so many ways you can do a pompadour with a fade right yeah you know so now when we get more of this kind of classic haircuts you know then we do more of them now we can comb everything back. Okay, let's just turn it nice, sleek back. Yeah, it's nice. What do you think, John? It'd be nice if you taper that. Right? <laughs> right? Down to the skin? No, no, yeah. Like here and here, that would look really nice with this type of hair. You okay. 
I guess I'm going to do like a paper, like a blog. Yeah, like a little blog on that. That would look nice. You did most of it with the razor, right? Most of it was done with the scissors and a razor. But you want to keep it long. Mm -hmm. How does that look, my friend? All right, let's start. Uh, see all that texture, my friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> What? Yeah, that's right. That's it. I know it's good. That's really nice. I'm a shorter guy. That's right. I like this idea too. That's right. That's right. This is what he. This is what he put in my memory. Yeah, I know. That's the picture. Yeah. Yeah. But I heard his idea. I like it too. I I I'm just printing out what was put in my memory. That's all. You did it exactly too. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow dry it smooth. I want to kind of set up the roots, but I'm gonna style it like see the texture because that's what the style is. What do you mean so you doing just like a light? I'm just like setting his roots. Yeah. Uh, a light blow dry. Yeah. Well not really light. I have to blow dry his hair so there is no wet hair. Because if you remember Especially roots. If the roots are not good, no matter how smooth you make the, the rest of the hair, the shaft, doesn't mean nothing. The, the style is going to collapse before he walks out of the door. Hmm. So it's a, it, 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 it's a, what do you call it? It's a foundation. So think about like building a house and you have a really weak foundation and then you get all this nice, you know, structure on top of it. And then first, Small shape and everything, yeah. boom. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man, it's, it's the only thing I've tried it. You can do a couple of feet I have to try it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to put some of someone else. So because he's here, he's a little frizzy here, can you see that? Yeah. Like maybe a wavy, let's put high heat. Yeah, I'm going to try to put some of someone else if you want to. And polish it. And make it straight. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Let's do it here too. See that? Yeah. So we can just do that like this. Yep. What's your point? I'm working in again? The bathroom? Okay. Lower that heat so we don't burn the fire. <laughs> we start from back again. This is a really plastic look. Yeah, I really like that. What is that finger thing? What is it? Huh? What was that finger that has similar color here and a style from... The Beaver? No, I just not know. I'm talking about the Beaver. Long time ago, long time ago. No, no, sometimes they have him on a Harley Davidson. 
James Dean? James Dean, I think that's who it is. He was in a lot of the old school um, like magazines and stuff. Yeah. This guy. Season. Yeah, James Dean. <laughs> he was an actor. He has that look too. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to call the haircut, James Dean haircut. <laughs> <laughs> James Dean haircut. All right, let's see. For this finish, we're just gonna we're gonna do something like uh, soft and uh, matte finish, you know. Okay, so else. I always like to start from the top and go over the head like this, so that product evenly spreads and then go towards the front, right? So I put, this is where the hair is thick. So I put a product there, most of the product, right? So, and the hair is gonna come back anyway because the, the roots are set mm -hmm. this way. So now when I come from this side, I will just, Hey, my friend, if James Dean wasn't around, he'd definitely come for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> mcbarber.com is my website MC Barber is my youtube channel please subscribe to it thanks for watching until next time take care